Natsumi Spanky Quest 1991. Yeah, you heard right. You are playing a monkey named Spanky. Now, when we think of Natsumi, we usually think of Harvest Moon. We think of River King. But the last thing I thought of when I think of this company is playing a game where you are a monkey named Spanky. Alright, let's get this game going and take a look at what we have in store. Well, game start, alright. <laughs> Got a cute little you, you can't skip this. You know, when I first played this game after I bought it, I honestly thought my controller was broken because you can't skip this. Really? Now, okay, apparently Spanky is having bricks dropped on him. And he runs into a wall and runs into the camera. And now he's passed out. Wow. The story for this gauge is so engaging. And, oh, we got a witch now. Yay! And this is, this is exactly... This makes perfect sense. I mean... Waiting for the bird to leave. And now what? He's dancing. And pooping rainbow. Oh, fruit. Oh, yeah, that makes makes total absolute sense. Uh, I'd like to say again, I could not skip that at all. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's see. Classic side scroller. B is to jump. I threw a baseball. Okay. All the other buttons doesn't do a damn thing. So let's see. If okay, apparently you could throw this. Oh, that makes sense. You're a monkey named Spanky who throws balls. Okay, apparently it seems like you push the A button and you throw this little gel ball and then you push A again and the gel ball explodes into different types of sports balls. We got, oh, we got soccer balls that go straight up. Um, a volleyball. Okay, I guess that's a baseball. And there, okay, one hit, one kill. You get the keys. It's kind of like Bomber Man, where you have to get the keys and all that stuff. And now we're going after a bunch of oranges, which monkeys don't like oranges. Oh, look at that! You know, despite the fact that you're playing a monkey who plays with balls and his name's Spanky, I'm sorry, I'm not going to get rid of that joke. It's just too funny. Uh, this game's actually not that bad. I mean, it's very simplistic. Uh, there's not really much of a challenge I'm seeing from this. But, uh, the animation's pretty good. You got good colors. Um... I can see how strategy is involved here. Not much strategy, mind you, but there is some. Okay, I already got the key, so I don't know. Do I have to kill you still? Or get, I'll just get rid of you. And there we go. We passed the next level. I mean, this is surprisingly very easy. Oh! I take that back. I just got... Oh, there we go. Alright, you jump on those little firecracker things. Ah! There we go. Get the key. Okay, you don't need to kill everybody. 
Makes things a lot easier. And there's we're going against lemons now. Again, like I said, everything in this game makes complete sense. And Alright, there you go. I mean you couldn't get any easier than that. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, Bubble Bobble, uh, to be completely honest. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I highly doubt this game was made for, you know, people. I have a hat. And I got a 1-up. I have no idea what the hat's for. It's probably something that lets you get hit more than once before losing a life. Oh, I just got there. I gotta kill the hooker tomatoes or apples or whatever these are. Oh! Oh, those... Oh, those are tomatoes or canned something. And, wow. Well, there we go. That was Spanky's Quest 1991 from Natsumi. What is there really more to say about this? Except, wow.